Spring has sprung and suddenly my entire personality is back. I feel like a whole new woman, ready to conquer the world. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for a few days in my life. I'm starting this off on a Monday, which I don't think I've started the vlog off on a Monday in, I actually couldn't remember the last time. One of my many toxic traits is not being able to start a new vlog into a edit and upload the last one. I just spent this morning finishing up editing my last vlog, which was from the Wit Sundays. So that's all up, approved, ready to go live tonight. And I'm feeling good. It's been a productive day. I'm about to head off to Pilates. I have a 4.30 class and then we're gonna go grocery shopping, which we didn't do last week because we were away and we got back Wednesday night and then like Thursday, ew, I don't wanna go grocery shopping on a Thursday. We were all out of whack last week. Um, also, look at these cute little Pilates socks I got. Scorpio? Tell me you're obsessed with yourself without telling me. <laughs> I just love being a Scorpio, okay? It is truly a character trait at this point. But yeah, I'm gonna head out, enjoy the sun. We need to do our meal planning for the week. I don't know what I'm vibing. Maybe like a salad, Caesar salad, falafel maybe. I made this really good tuna anchovy pasta a couple weeks ago, which I might make again. We haven't made stuffed peppers in a while. I've been meaning to do that. So maybe we'll make that this week. And then I kind of want to change it up and try a new recipe. Spring is in the air. And like I said, whole new woman, ready to experiment, <laughs> push myself out of my comfort zone. I was gonna go pick up my parents from the airport tonight. They've been in New Zealand for the last week. We've been watching Lily Lou. Here she is, say hi. Can you believe she is 15 guys? If you're an OG subscriber, you would remember Lily. She's a little old lady now. But her and Mabel, quite literally obsessed with each other. I sent Nick the video of them kissing this morning where I posted on my Instagram story, should I say? And I think I've convinced him to get another dog. <laughs> my plan has worked. I really want another dog and I'm slowly trying to persuade Nick to get another one. We'll see. <laughs> Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me We just went grocery shopping. I'll give you guys a quick little haul. I'll have on the screen how much everything was and what meals we're making this week. This is a note to editing Ella. Make sure you include that because otherwise I'll forget. We ran out of cheese. We got that. Normally we get the light one, but they were all out. Usual protein yogurt. Got three of those. Got two Wicked Sister puddings. I'm so sorry if you can hear all the clip clopping, huffing, puffing. I've got two dogs underneath me and it's a lot. Got some cream for our cold foams. Milk. Turkey mitts. Bacon. Some boccaccini for sandwiches. We've been really in our sandwich era at the moment. Oh. Babe, did we buy bread? I think we've got to buy bread. Oh, anyway, we've got boccaccini and some mortadella. This with pesto. Oh my God, I didn't even buy tomatoes. <laughs> These sandwiches are a disaster. Normally we have, a oh my gosh. I'm so overstimulated right now. Yeah, normally we do mortadella, tomato, boccaccini and pesto with a bit of chili honey. So we've got some of that, but apparently we're missing every other ingredient. Also got a frozen pizza. I've never tried this one from Audi. The best margarita pizza ever. I feel like that's a big claim. We've got some light sour cream. And then we've got a whole bunch of bananas. Paddle pops are on sale. So we got those. We ran out of ketchup. That was also on sale. Falafel. Two avocados. Some red capsicums. I haven't tried this one before. The sugar-free caramel topping. We're all out of the Hershey's caramel syrup, which I usually use for my iced lattes. They were completely sold out as well at Woolies. So I thought I'd try this one. It's sugar-free. So like, we'll see. We've got two Dynamo washing liquids because it was half price. Some broccolini, lettuce, orange juice, some strawberries, and hummus. Then we got lettuce, more lettuce, bagels. Lily, you're being a bit much, darling. Pasta, corn chips. 
Sour Patch Kids. We got some onions, air freshener, because we are very demure, very mindful. Soy milk, apples, some salsa, because we're having nachos one night. And finally, some Bud Light potatoes. And I think that is everything. <gasps> You actually scared the little out of me. All I saw was your shadow in the window. Why would you do that, go on? Are you kidding me? I think I look like an iPad child with my headphones. <laughs> you you are an iPad kid. Have you ever seen you on a plane? As soon as you get in front of that screen, you're like, is that your daddy? Hey, Mimi, do you want a friend? Like a brother? Or sister? Or you want all the attention to yourself? I think you want a brother or sister, don't you? I feel like I'm getting public pressure. Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. I have just written my to-do list for today. And this is completely self-inflicted because, like, I don't have to get all of this done. I am literally the boss of me and my life, like, settle down. <laughs> this is completely self-inflicted, but I'm feeling... A little overwhelmed. My to-do list is quite literally coming out my hoo-ha. I mean, it's actually pretty manageable. I just have a couple of work things I need to do, some concepts, some filming, some emails, and some editing, both short form and long form content. I think because it's like so bitty, normally I like to try and batch my day. So I'm filming one day, editing the next, then I'll have my admin day. Today, I don't really have that luxury. Like I just have stuff that I need to do. So it just feels a little bit all over the place. And then since it's such nice weather, I'm feeling so inspired. I wanted to try and get some spring cleaning done. Our cleaners are coming today. They come every other week. And whenever they come, I always feel so inspired. Like I've already organized the laundry this morning. I want to clean out the fridge, clean out my office. And also if I have time, spot clean the couch and rug. Also need to book our trains for Europe. And my personal trainer has set me a workout today. So I need to do that at some point. <laughs> so we have a busy, busy day ahead of us. Most of it's fun stuff, to be honest. Just putting on my deodorant, which I've had a few of you guys ask if I'm still using Wild and how do I like it? Yes, I'm still using it, still loving it. They actually just sent me a new case with my name on it because you can get it like personalized. How cool, this is actually perfect because I like, lost my other one. I have one for at home and then one that I like to keep in my bag when I'm on the go. I don't know which one to do. I wish I could ask you guys in real time. It smells so good. The one I have right now is quite fruity, so I'm gonna do the ocean mist. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, I switched over to Wild about six months ago now. At first, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little hesitant. I was like, natural deodorant, it's a little bit, ooh, is it gonna work? I know it's better for me, better for the environment, but like, am I going to smell? And I don't. Tried and tested in all environments, all seasons. This has been my go-to for all of my recent trips to America, the Whit Sundays. I switched over just before we started trying to get pregnant because I wanted to avoid using any toxic chemicals. And I have not looked back. I love it. It keeps me fresh and smelling amazing during any kind of workout with my Pilates, my at-home workouts. Like, I just love it. It's also not only cleaner for you, but also cleaner for the environment. You just buy the case. And then once you're out of it, you just buy another refillable. So it's so much better for the environment. It's vegan-friendly, aluminium-free as well. And all of their packaging is compost. They've given me another discount code to share with you guys. If you use the code Smiley Citrus, that will get you 20% off site wide. It's only for 48 hours only though. So I'll have a link down below. Okay, today is the day, you guys. This is the behind the scenes that you don't see in my videos. I just bought a ton of stuff up from downstairs that was sitting on the dining table. I have another one of those little candle warmer lamps that I need to set up. I got one for my desk. We have another one in our kitchen. I'm obsessed with it. Got my scrapbooking stuff that I need to sort through and like find a spot for. And then all of this stuff that you don't see <laughs> whenever I'm filming here. I just want this to be a functional space. Ever since we've moved in, this has kind of been like the dumping ground for anything that doesn't have a spot. A while ago, I went through all of my drawers and got rid of a bunch of clothes. So I have some stuff that I need to donate. I just need to take it downstairs, which feels like a task within itself. I have some other clothes that I need to sort through. And then we have this big old box of stuff. Like if I have not touched this in months, do I need it? Probably not, right? Then we have our wardrobe. I have my filming stuff in here, which is fine. It's my ring light and my tripod. I have some stuff up there, which is all good. It's actually not really unorganized, but I feel like it's unutilized all of Mabel's toys that she brings up here. Her favorite thing to do is look out the window and obviously she has to have her comfort toys with her. See this. Oh my God, I forgot I had these jumpers. See, see what I mean? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on in here. There's like boxes of stuff that I need to keep but I don't need access to all the time. I just feel like it could be better organized, so. Oh, hello, speak of the devil. Look at all the toys she just put. She's of water. She is. Okay, I've 
come upstairs to do my workout for today. I'm really leaving it to the last minute, like nine o'clock at night. I don't really feel like doing this right now, but I know I'll feel so much better once I finish it. And I don't want to break my streak. Here's my program for the day. It looks pretty achievable. Got my Apple Watch fully charged as well, which is nice. Anyway, I'm gonna watch some YouTube and do my workout. Up first is 30 seconds of arm circle. Press start to begin. <laughs> doing that my body was so tired from Pilates. Good morning. I've just gotten home from Pilates, quickly gotten ready. That was a really hard class. Or I don't know if it was like especially hard or if it was just still sore from Monday. My hamstrings are tight. I do feel good after though because I feel like I've stretched, stretched everything. But I've just come up here, had myself some lunch, and now I am gonna get some work done. I'm working from my office. Who is she? I can finally focus in this clean and organized space. I still have a couple things that I didn't get to yesterday. But otherwise, it is looking so good. I'm so happy with it. Like, who would have thought cleaning out a few boxes and actually clearing the space would change my life? Yep. I did my workout up here last night because I have actual floor space. It's just the best. Everything has a spot now too, which is really nice. Like all my scrapbooking stuff. I've got a couple of drawers for that. My skincare, extra makeup, hair care stuff. Um, I bought up a couple of books from downstairs because I want to put these away in our bookshelf. We've got The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I read a couple years ago and I really need to reread it. And then this one I just finished a couple days ago, Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. I took this with me to the Weird Sundays and started reading it there. I haven't read a physical book in a really long time. I really enjoyed it. Something about like reading on a beach with a physical book just feels, feels right. But I loved this. I had honestly been putting off reading this for ages because I had heard so much hype about it. I'm pretty sure it's like one of Rachel's dare I say like one of her favorite books I want to say I feel like I've heard her talk about it a lot and I know George has read it and loved it and so I finally decided to pick it up and I loved it I loved it I feel like sometimes if a book's too hyped up it always just falls a little bit short for me when you hear so many good things about a book and how much people love a book your expectations are high like that's just how it is <laughs> there's a few books that have fallen short for me but this was definitely not one of them. I really, really liked it. I loved Archer, absolutely fell in love with him. And I just loved his innocence and like Bree's kindness. I thought it was just a really beautiful love story. Fell in love with the town and the town people. It was just really believable. And I really struggle with romance because it just doesn't feel real to me. It comes across as really, really cringe and unbelievable, but this felt real. I think as well, like their backstory and like the devastation and sadness from their own lives and like everything that has led them to meet each other felt like it was just very three-dimensional for me and I really enjoyed it. Didn't feel surface levelly at all. It left you wanting more. It was quite steamy, which I wasn't expecting. Like actually quite steamy. Um, I mean, I enjoyed it. Go right ahead, <laughs> be my guest. But yeah, it took me by surprise. So definitely, I mean, if you're not into steamy, spicy romance, you probably wouldn't enjoy because it's like every other chapter it feels like, especially towards the end. So yeah, it was a really good read. I thoroughly enjoyed. So I'm gonna put these away before I don't and then <laughs> I leave them out for weeks. Nick's working from the office today, sadly. 
Look at his little desk setup. He's so cute. It looks like a shrine for me or something. He's got this little turtle that his parents brought him back from a recent trip. We've got our wedding photo. I got him this card for Valentine's Day. So cute. And then this Mabel got him <laughs> for Father's Day. Anyway. This is such a random assortment of books. A lot of the books I read are on my Kindle or my Kobo, but I have some of my childhood books and like photo albums. Some of these are so old. Like Felicity Wishes. Oh my gosh. This book, this was my favorite when I was a kid. It's also got my old last name in it. How weird is that? When I was a little girl, I changed my name when I was seven. And you like flip through. It's like, do you like ketchup in your bath? As a five-year-old, hilarious. And then we go into Nick territory, all his sporting books. Good morning you guys and happy Sunday. Today is another beautiful stunning day. Sun is shining, a little cold outside, a little nippy. We just went for a beach walk and it was blustery to say the least, but at least the sun is out, the sky is blue. Good day to be alive. I just finished getting ready. I'm having my breakfast and we're about to head out. Nick's got cricket training this morning, but my parents and I are gonna go to a Cocker Spaniel meetup. We're gonna take the girlies, Lily and Mabel Moo. They do these like every other month I want to say and normally I always see the event after the fact because it's on Facebook I don't really use Facebook but this time I actually saw it before so we're gonna go and then I think this afternoon I we need to go do some gardening and just like general housework but I also want to make some blueberry syrup I've seen this all over my TikTok for you page is blueberry lattes so I'm gonna try my hand at making some blueberry syrup and see how we go it looks pretty easy it's literally just blueberries sugar and water it's like what could go wrong you know, don't know. It just feels like very spring, spring vibes. Yum.
needless to say i think the blueberry syrup was definitely a success next time i will for sure do less syrup like <laughs> it's pretty sweet like when i'm actually making the ice latte i don't think it needs quite as much blueberry syrup but yeah it turned out so good and it was so easy to make I kind of want to experiment and like do strawberry syrup now. I really need to get some matcha so I can make matcha from home and do my own strawberry blueberry matchas. If you guys have any recommendations of good tasting matcha, please let me know. I'm just oiling my hair with some rosemary oil because I have Pilates tonight and I want to wash my hair after. I don't know if this actually helps in terms of like hair strength. Definitely helps soothe my scalp, I will say. I'm gonna take an everything shower tonight, wash my hair, shave, fake tan, because I haven't tanned in like two weeks. And that's always an instant mood booster, confidence booster. I'm about to go take Moo for a WALK. And then I have Pilates tonight. My hamstrings are finally not sore, which is stunning. <laughs> and yeah, it's gonna be a good day. The sun's out again. Like, I, guys. <laughs> I love it. I really don't think that the weather should have such a positive or negative impact on my mood, but it does. And that's just like the reality. I always find myself craving winter towards the end of summer. Like I'm kind of just over the heat. But then after a couple months, I feel like it just really gets you down. So I'm so happy that spring is well and truly here. And then I kind of get a nice little break from it. When I go to Europe, it will be autumn time. And then I get to come back to Australia when it's like peak summer. So I'm excited. Speaking of Europe, actually, I just got a package in the mail from loop they saw that i was going to europe and asked if they could send me one of their little cases ella we hope you love your loop case we know how handy it will be on your upcoming holiday safe travels so cute i love the branding gorge yeah it's like a little crossbody strap which will be perfect for europe the amount of videos that i've seen on my for you page of people's phones getting stolen especially in london it's kind of stressing me out so i will have this attached to my neck if anyone tries to steal it you're stealing me too. <laughs> this is going to be so good. Thank you so much. Also, do you guys want to see Mabel's... I don't want to say botched haircut because we did ask for this. But it always just looks so funny. And she hasn't had a haircut in like six months. Always forget how funny she looks. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> it's worse from the back. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, darling. I'm laughing with you. It is so much more manageable, though, I will say. Having shorter hair, especially with the amount of swimming she does. She lives, eats, breathes at the beach. Having long hair, swimming, the two can't really coexist. So a lot more manageable, even if she does look like Donald Trump. Um, it's fine. We took her on Saturday. And now it's... Oh, Nick just messaged me. Big Brother is back next year. Huge. I hope it's the old format. I miss the old format so much. I watched the first season when they brought it back and it's just too gamey, too much manipulation. I don't know, like I'm not here for the tactics. I'm here to watch real people live a real life and do like funny challenges, but not for anything. Do you know what I mean? Like the whole voting off thing, I don't like. Like I could watch something else, you know? I don't want to watch that. I want to watch people existing, like little sims. Anyway, I don't know if they're bringing back the old format, but... I really wish they did. Anyway, I am going to end off this vlog here so I can start my next one. We're doing a no spend week this week. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for that. It would definitely be a challenge, but a good financial reset that we really need right now. So look out for that. I love you guys so incredibly much. Thank you so much for spending a few days, a few spring days with me. I love you so much and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye guys.